Miriam Nelson has spent her life as a show business dancer and choreographer, and she's still got all the right moves at 88 years young. Take a look. There was a time when movie stars would glide across the stage with incredible grace, or so it seemed. Every once in a while, our favorite stars needed a little help. That's when they would call in Miriam Nelson. But Miriam didn't grow up in show business. My mother had a little lingerie shop in a building, and all of a sudden one day I heard all these wonderful tap sounds coming out of one of the built. A new tenant came in. His name was Ted Arkin, and he had been in the movies, I was, so I was thrilled. Finally, one day I saw him in there. The door was open a crack, and I said, would you teach me a step? Before long, Miriam was auditioning to be a Rockette, but at just 15 years old, she was clearly too young. So instead, she choreographed eye shows. That's when she met the man who would change her life, future husband, Gene Nelson. There was a young man on ice that I thought was terrific, you know, so handsome, and wow, he could skate, and we're sitting right down front, and he started flirting with me. He did the lead with Doris Day in several movies at Warner Brothers. Soon, Doris Day was learning her steps from Miriam, and they became fast friends. One time I know I was standing next to the camera when she was shooting something, and she'd look at me, and she'd start laughing. And the director kept turning around to see what was, and he said, are you making faces at her or what? And I said, honestly, God, I'm not. You know, I'm just standing here. And he said, well, you better move away because she keeps cracking up all the time. Although she was content to stay in the background, fate had different plans. Before long, Miriam was dancing in front of the camera. We went to see Lady in the Dark that was shooting with Ginger Rogers. One of the dancers had her, cracked her rib or something doing a lift, and so I was replacing her. I had a little part in a Dorothy L'Amour movie called Masquerade in Mexico. The biggest break I got at Paramount, they did a movie called Duffy's Tavern. So all these wonderful stars they had at Paramount were in it, but they didn't have a dancer, per se. So I got to do it. We did a routine, and at that time the war was still on, and we did it to Johnny Comes Marching Home Again, hurrah, and that's Johnny come in on a train, and I'm the girl next door waiting to get married, and in the middle of the scene is this big church. So I'm always pointing to the ring saying, how, you know, but he's got, he has other thoughts on his mind. Miriam also had a big dance number in the 1946 film, The Jolson Story. Nobody ever knew that it was me. <laughs> Even to this day, I've had somebody say, gee, I just ran this movie, and uh, Evelyn really could dance pretty good. You know, I know you were doubling her, but I know there were shots where I'm, I'm sure it was her, and it wasn't. She never learned one step. I did the dance, but she took the bow. Miriam continued to teach dance to some of Hollywood's favorite stars. Donald O'Connor, I did his nightclub act for Las Vegas. I did an act for Stephen Eady. I did several acts for them. Carol Channing, I did some numbers for her nightclub act. Hollywood kept on dancing to Miriam's beat, but her crowning achievement came when she choreographed a number for the Academy Awards. Five nominated songs, which one would be the best to do a big dance number to. So I picked this one song that I thought would be wonderful, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. I saw Paul Newman come in on a bicycle and he's showing off for the girl. And he's wearing the derby hat, you know, the period clothes. And so I thought that would be fun to have many couples, all Butch Cassidy's and girls, and we'll have some fun with the bicycles. But it was the best number I've ever had a chance to do. And at 88 years young, Miriam continues to step out and share her lifelong love affair with dance. I've been so fortunate. I really have. And I'm still working. I can't believe it.